what is up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel i know uh i've been doing a lot of videos recently and it's because there's actually like stuff going on in the world of call of duty you know and today is no exception we have nick Merckx and tim the tatman drama yet again um i don't know drama just sells on youtube i, I kind of expected that my previous video was going to do better than most and surprisingly or not surprisingly enough it did um and so today we got some tim the tatman news he's of course mentioning nick Merckx and yeah, I mean, at the time of, of recording this, it's brand new, but, you know, by the time you guys watch this, it's it's probably like a day old. So, yeah, anyway, let's get into the news. The gameplay you're watching is some Cold War Search and Destroy, I think from the beta, honestly. This is some old gameplay, at least two years worth. I'm literally cleaning up my hard drive because I don't have a whole lot of new gameplay. I, I got to get some gameplay, like I've been saying. Um, but, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, let's get into this tweet from Tim the Tatman. So he goes, uh, Nick Merckx has been my friend for years. We went in getting our COD operators together. It feels wrong for me to have mine and him no longer have his. In support of my friend, please remove the Tim the Tatman bundle at Call of Duty. So just to give you guys some context in case this is the first video of mine you're watching, in case you haven't been keeping up with what's been going on on Twitter and YouTube, uh, essentially Nick Merckx has been quote unquote canceled for having an opinion that differed from, you know, a large majority of people out there on the internet, uh, just about LGBTQ. And I'm not going to get into it. I'm not gonna pick a side or anything like that. Cause you know, you get enough of that on Twitter already. Let's, let's leave that away and, and just focus on YouTube and gaming and fun and drama and stuff like that here on YouTube. So one of the people, one of the organizations, I guess that like wanted to cancel Nick Merckx ended up being Call of Duty because they stand with pride. They stand with you know, the things that Nick Merckx is supposedly against, not even, he's not even like against, I, I want to say based on the tweets, but it showed that he was kind of like, um, reflecting against that or like basically saying like, Hey, I, I disagree with the way they, this is handled. And I guess Call of Duty didn't want that, right? They wanted to appear a certain way and Nick Merckx was not portraying the certain way that they wanted to appear. And so they dogged him. They essentially removed the bundle um, responding to Charlie Intel of all tweets instead of like just tweeting out themselves. Very interesting. It, it takes like another organization, another person uh, for you to actually like speak out because I guess, you know, it's just too hard to just, you know, type up a tweet yourself, go on your actual Twitter and just, you know, explain things and, and have communication. I, I guess that's really difficult for some reason. Hopefully that kind of catches you up if you're uh, if you weren't up to speed. But yeah, Tim the Tatman, um, he also had a bundle, same as Nick Merckx, and they dropped at the same time. And, you know, obviously, like I said, Call of Duty removed Nick Merckx's. And Tim the Tatman, being his friend, says that, hey, you want, go ahead and remove mine. I, I don't want to be associated with you if you're going to treat my friend like this. It's very commendable. I, I will give him props for this. I heard, you know, some just rumors or gossip or I don't know, just some naysayers out there saying like, oh, why did it take him this long? Because he must be getting like, you know, attacked or something like that. Like, I, I don't know, whatever the reason, you know, he's doing the right thing. OK, you're always going to get crucified for doing the right thing. At the end of the day, if he is boys with this guy, whether he agrees with Cod's stance or not, whether he agrees with Nick Merckx or not, you have to have your friends back in this case. Um, and doing so this publicly, you know, adding Call of Duty, just letting him know, hey, you know what? I don't want to be associated with you in this manner anymore. It's commendable. I don't care what you say. This is my opinion. Uh, it's, it's commendable at the end of the day. It's loyalty. Um, the dude is showing loyalty to him. Maybe it's late, whatever the case may be. But you know what? At the, on the flip side, he could have just not said anything, right? He could have just did nothing the entire time. Let his friend just not burn but you know just just take all the flag and just speak up, like about nothing the entire time but he's he's doing the right thing so this message this video is entirely just about activision okay because i saw this tweet afterwards from charlie intel and i think modern warzone or someone else tweeted before but yeah he basically just said we will most likely never see creator bundles ever again in call of duty after this week and guess what I don't think you should. I, I don't think you want to see creator bundles. Think about it, right? You're if you're Nick Merckx, you play Call of Duty your whole life. You you know you dedicate like days. Not I was gonna say hours, but literally days, maybe even weeks of your life, like of in-game time to this franchise, to this game, and for what? Just to just to have your model be in the game, which I'm, I'm in it, admittedly it's cool, right? It's it's really cool. All of us gamers would love that, right? Like no one's gonna say no to that, especially if you're gonna get paid for it too, like. Of course, you know, as, as a COD fan, like that's your lifelong dream, right? For any game, that's that's your game, like dream to, to be in the game or or to have some kind of like influence in the game that you love. That's amazing, right? But 
guess what? They turn around and dismiss you at this at the like first chance they get to appear woke. I don't even know necessarily if they fully agree, if they if they stand with pride or whatever. Like I personally think that it's a lot of just virtue signaling. All right. It's a lot of like you know what? We want to appeal to this group. We want to appeal to this minority. We want to appeal to these kind of people. And uh, you know what? If you're not with us, then forget it. You know, we're taking you out the game. We're not supporting with you. We're not standing with you. And it's like, it's, it's just disappointing because like whether or not they're actually, you know, about it because, you know, to prove it, you could easily just everything that like uh, um, you know people spend money on the bundles you could say hey you know what we're giving 10 percent to the lgbt uh, organization community you know we're giving 15 percent here we're, we're we're standing up for ukraine here we're doing this for this country this for this demographic of people you know you could do all that stuff but i don't know are, are they are they vocalizing it like it doesn't seem like it right it just seems like they're pocketing a lot of it maybe i'm completely wrong maybe i missed an article out there um but if they are you know you know, donating or, or supporting different organizations. I'm sure I'm sure they are right. They, they have to be. But it's just not widely known, I guess. Like, you know, if I'm a Call of Duty content creator and I don't even know about this, how do you expect like a casual fan who like plays one hour a week? How do you expect him to know this? Right. So I don't know. It's just not widely accessible knowledge. Maybe it is. And I'm just dumb. I don't know. But I don't know why as a content creator, as a creator in general, why would you want to work with Call of Duty after this? Right. If you're swag, scump, phase Jev, like any of these old like OGs, old timers, like after seeing how they treat Nick Merckx, and if they're gonna treat Nick Merckx like this, they're gonna treat whoever like this. You know what I mean? Nick Merckx is like top of the crop when it comes to like viewership, when it comes to Call of Duty. Well, at least he used to be before he you know, dropped Call of Duty for you know a bag of chips. Um, yeah, if they're gonna do that to him, they're going to do that to anybody, my dude, anybody. It doesn't matter how much money you make. It doesn't matter uh, you know how big you are. Like they'll drop you as soon as you, um, you know, I guess cross a certain line that they're just not okay with and so why would you want to work with activision I, like honest question if you're a big content creator watching this if you're a small content creator watching this if you love call of duty with your heart and soul why would you want to work with these comp with this company let's say you completely stand with them guess what uh, like on this specific topic about lgbtq but guess what let's say you don't stand with them or let's say you find out later because of a like recent tweet or something that they don't like i don't even know i'm going to give a dumb example they don't like the kind of condiment you put on your hot dog like hot dog versus I mean, ketchup versus like mustard and they cancel you for that and i know it's a stupid example but like are, are you just gonna like like it, like it's so dumb you know what i mean just getting canceled just getting removed for this because you have a differing opinion like, like just no sense of unity, no like, oh, like, you know, can you please just not say that or, or just keep it off of like Twitter or something like that? I don't know, man. I, I don't want to get into politics. I feel like I'm getting into it too much, but it's just it's just not a place to work for or like work with. I, I can't see myself ever getting on board with them. Like, I know I know I'm like a million years away because of, you know, the channel size and viewership and all that. But I like if offered... <sighs> It, it's hard to say yes you know i i really even before this it was really hard to say yes but after this it's like dude why would you want to you know what i mean how much money you're gonna how much money is it worth it uh for your like to sell your principles to sell your morals you know what i mean i'm just i'm okay you know if they ask me or whatever they ask you <laughs> i'm okay uh that's all i gotta say but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Let me know your thoughts on the whole situation in the description or in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.